Number 10. Tawi Tawi The first on today's list of the biggest crocs ever is Tawi Tawi and he was captured on September 9, 2017. This crocodile is from the Philippines and he was captured by fishermen in the island province of Tawi Tawi, which is where the crocodile gets its name. According to locals, a fisherman first spotted the crocodile and thought it was a wooden log. The crocodile was so big that he didn't even believe it at first. However, the crocodile then moved as the fisherman approached and an operation was then launched to capture the crocodile with the help of officials. It involved quite a few fishermen and officials to capture the giant croc, especially since it was so aggressive. The crocodile wrecked one boat, damaged several fishing nets, but was ultimately captured. Tawi Tawi was approximately 16 feet and 11 inches in length and is actually still alive today in the care of the municipal government. If you thought crocodiles only lived in Florida, you are sadly mistaken. One of the biggest crocodiles ever captured was this one, and it came from the Philippines. Number 9. Matara Crocodile The Matara Crocodile is yet another massive crocodile named after the place it was discovered. This foreign crocodilian was discovered back in 2016 in Matara, Sri Lanka. For those who don't know, Sri Lanka is a small island nation south of India, and yes, they have a thriving crocodile population. Reportedly, this crocodile was stuck in a canal coming off the Nilawala River when it was discovered. But, unlike in other countries where the crocodile would have been captured, skinned and eaten, the local Sri Lankans actually helped get the massive reptile unstuck and back into the river. Of course, they had to tie its snout and work together to move the enormous beast, especially since it was 17 feet long and weighed roughly 2,000 pounds. The Department of Wildlife Conservation believes the huge crocodile was about 65 years old. That would make it one of three giant crocodiles living in that particular river in Sri Lanka. According to the BBC, it was released back into the river without any harm and is likely still prowling the waters today. Crocodiles can live for up to 100 years and they continuously grow until they become massive beasts like this. Number 8. Jaws 3 The name of this crocodile is a little misleading. You would think with a name like Jaws 3 that the animal would be a shark. But no, Jaws 3 is actually a saltwater crocodile and one of the biggest in the world. Jaws 3 is about 17 feet long and weighs over one ton. He currently has the title of being the biggest crocodile in captivity in South of Asia. His home is at the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust and Center for Hepatology in the southern city of Chennai in the state of Tamil Nadu, India. And although the center has an enormously long name, it is really just a reptile zoo and a herpetology research station. The station began in 1976, thanks to herpetologist Romulus Whitaker and his wife. What's interesting about Jaws 3 is that he was born in 1970, six years before the zoo was even functional. The owner of the zoo used to carry this crocodile under his arm when the croc was just a baby, and now he's 17 feet of pure muscle and teeth. He also used to have siblings, but Jaws 3 quickly outgrew them and needed to be housed by himself because he had an unusually savage disposition and raw strength that was dangerous to the female crocs. He completely lives alone in an enclosure where citizens can watch him be fed every Sunday afternoon. And now for number 7. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 7. Gomek. Gomek is an enormous saltwater crocodile who was captured by a man named George Craig in Papua New Guinea and then purchased by two other men in 1985 and taken to Florida where the giant crocodile was eventually sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park. Gomek lived in this zoological park in Florida for a full eight years, wowing spectators with his odd tolerance for people and his enormous size. The crocodile grew to be 17.8 feet in length and weighed around 2,000 pounds. The croc was so calm and unafraid of people that visitors were allowed inside his enclosure up to within three feet of him. As you may know, this is normally a suicidal distance to be from any crocodile, never mind a croc that is almost 18 feet long. Sadly, Gomek died on March 6, 1997 because of heart disease. He had grown very old by then and had been one of the largest and tamest crocodiles in history. The St. Augustine Alligator Farm 
estimated his age at the time of death to be somewhere between 60 and 80 years old, which is not half bad for a scaly lizard. You can now find a tribute to the departed Gomek very near to his old enclosure. Number 6. Cassius Cassius is a saltwater giant from Australia who was recognized in 2011 by the Guinness World Records as the largest crocodile in captivity. This is no easy accomplishment. Cassius is 17 feet and 11 inches long and is believed to be about 110 years old. An average crocodile only has a life expectancy of about 100 years, so this is extremely impressive. Interestingly enough, the crocodile was actually named after Cassius Clay, which was the birth name of the famous boxer Muhammad Ali, who died in June of 2016. Cassius is still alive today, the croc, not the boxer, and he lives a pretty relaxing life on Green Island in Australia, which actually sounds like the perfect place for a giant crocodile to live. Cassius was originally captured in 1987 in the Northern Territory of Australia after he had been causing a nuisance by attacking boats and causing general mayhem. Cassius is such a brutal crocodile that he is missing his front left leg and the tip of his tail because of aggressive fighting. Oh yeah, and remember George Craig, the man who captured the previous crocodile Gomak back in 1985 in Papua New Guinea? Well, he is the same man who captured Cassius back in 1987. Now that's one busy crocodile hunter. Number 5. Yai Thailand is home to some of the most fascinating traditions on the planet, some of the friendliest people in the world, and some of the best food. Thailand is also home to Yai, one of the biggest crocodiles ever discovered. It is a close call between Yai and Cassius, the previous crocodile, but Yai is definitely bigger. He is 18 feet long and absolutely monstrous. Not monstrous as in he has a bad temper because he doesn't, but monstrously huge. Yai is actually oddly docile and has an extreme tolerance for humans. He's able to be touched and handled by strangers, and even the caretakers can feed Yai by hand without any fear. This is perhaps one of the laziest crocodiles in the world, or simply one of the least aggressive. He's currently living in the Sumat Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo in Thailand. So the next time you go for some traditional pad thai and temples, you can stop by the crocodile farm and see one of the biggest beasts on the planet. Number 4. Brutus As we get closer to the biggest crocodile ever recorded in history, the names start getting a little more interesting. Now we have Brutus, who is a massive saltwater crocodile, 18 feet and 4 inches long. Brutus is not in captivity but remains an exciting tourist attraction nonetheless on the Adelaide River in the Northern Territory of Australia. You can take a boat trip to say hi to Brutus and to pay respects to this monster of the river. Brutus is easily recognizable because he only has three limbs. It is a very strange sight to see Brutus leaping up out of the water to snatch some meat off the tour guide's meat pole and noticing the croc only has three legs. It is believed that Brutus lost his front leg after a confrontation with a bull shark near the edge of where the river meets the sea. Considering this crocodile is almost 18.5 feet long and well over 1,500 pounds, it really makes you wonder how large the shark could have possibly been to threaten such a great and fear-inspiring river crocodile. And it begs another question. What happened to the shark after the fight? Number 3. Lolong Lolong is officially the largest crocodile ever measured from snout to tail. This crocodile is an absolute beast. He measured 20 feet 3 inches and weighed approximately 2,370 pounds. He was a saltwater crocodile caught in a creek in the province of Ogasan del Sur in the Philippines back in September of 2011. After his capture, which was successful thanks to cooperation between the local Philippine government, local residents and some professional crocodile hunters, Lolong was sedated and measured by an Australian crocodile expert and confirmed as the world's longest crocodile ever captured and then put into captivity. It actually took them three weeks to hunt Lolong down and capture him, and it took at least 100 people just to get the crocodile on land. He was incredibly aggressive during the capture, breaking at least two restraints before eventually being secured. At the time, he was estimated to be roughly 50 years old, and while never proven, Lolong was suspected of eating a fisherman and a 12-year-old girl. After he was captured and they examined his stomach, 
there were remains of water buffaloes found, but no human remains. 18 months after Lolong was captured, he died from congestive heart failure, made worse by fungal pneumonia, kidney failure, and lipidosis of the liver. He died on the 10th of February, 2013. Number 2. Cambodian Crocodile There was once a crocodile even bigger than Lolong, but this crocodile was never properly measured. It's referred to as the Cambodian Crocodile, and its skull is currently sitting in the Paris Museum. It was originally assumed to be about 23 feet in length, which would make it 3 feet longer than Lolong. But again, it was never properly measured. The evidence of this giant crocodile size comes from the length of its skull. Lolong's skull measured 70 centimeters long, but the crocodile skull in the Paris Museum measures 76 centimeters long. By doing a bunch of math and looking at the ratios, experts believe the total length of the Cambodian crocodile would be about 11.3% longer than Lolong, making it 23 feet. And this isn't the only unverified crocodile monster. There are crocodiles from India claimed to be 23 feet long as well. And who knows what other beastly reptiles are hiding out there that we have yet to find. Number 1. Crease This is more of a legend than reality. It happened back in 1958, and the only proof that it's real is a blurry black and white photo which clearly used forced perspective to make the crocodile appear much larger, and the claims of the people who hunted it. This crocodile's name is Crease also known as the Savannah King, and the people who shot it claimed the crocodile was 28 feet and 4 inches long. The crocodile was shot in July of 1958 in Queensland, Australia, near the town of Normington. To this day, you can find a massive replica of Crease the Crocodile sitting at Normington in Australia. However, many experts doubt the reality of this enormous monster, saying that 28 feet is far beyond the realm of possibility of what a crocodile can grow to be. In fact, According to zoologist and crocodile expert Adam Britton, it is a little too hard to believe, and there is absolutely no evidence to back up the story. The geologist even went down to Normington to measure the head of the life-size replica, then claimed the head-to-body ratio was totally false. At the end of the day, whether Crease is myth or reality, it still makes for a great bit of local tourism for Norrington. Number 10. Javan Rhinoceros Rhinos are one of the world's more well-known endangered species, with the most at-risk species out of the five that exist being the lesser-known Javan Rhinoceros. The Javan Rhino was once prevalent across parts of Southeast Asia, but with Vietnam's last Javan Rhino being poached in 2010, the only known remaining ones all live in, and I hope I get this right, Ujong Kulong National Park in Java, Indonesia. They are very similar in appearance to the closely related greater one-horned rhino and are a dusky gray color with one horn that grows up to 10 inches long. The loose folds over their skin make them look like they have armor plating and they are thought to live for somewhere between 30 and 40 years. With only about 60 Javan rhinos left in the world and none in captivity, their future survival depends on park rangers' ability to protect them from the ever-present threat of poachers who hunt them for their valuable horns, which are a lucrative commodity in traditional medicine for their supposed medicinal properties. Number 9. Ocean Quahog The ocean quahog is a type of large aquatic mollusk called a bivalve that grows up to 4 inches tall. Large populations can be found in the waters around Iceland, but ocean quahogs live buried beneath the seabed all across the Atlantic Ocean. They're one of the longest known living creatures on our planet, with one specimen caught in 2006, nicknamed Ming the Clam, estimated to be around 507 years old. Despite their longevity, ocean quahogs' numbers are declining. While this is the case for concern, the situation has not grown dire just yet. Ocean quahogs cannot tolerate extensive fishing due to their low reproduction levels, but overfishing is not currently a problem. According to the NOAA Fisheries website, monitoring their numbers as well as fishing levels are imperative for ensuring the ocean quahog's survival, especially since its population is decreasing. Number 8. Vequita The Vequita, a small porpoise species, was discovered in 1958. 
It's the world's rarest marine mammal and is teetering dangerously close on the brink of extinction with just an estimated handful left. Vequitas are endemic to the Gulf of California off the Mexican coast where large numbers once gathered, but the population has severely fallen to the point where seeing one now is almost unheard of. A 1997 study estimated the surviving population at around 600. The number dropped to 100 in a similar survey in 2014, and today there are between 6 and 22 vequitas left. Scientists are doing everything in their power to try and save the vequita, but with so few specimens left, the deck is stacked disappointingly against them. The vequita's nearly depleted status results mainly from ending up as a bycatch in fishing nets, particularly those intended to catch a rare fish called a totuaba. This specific type of fishing has caused greater destruction to the vequita's numbers than any other factor threatening the species. Despite the Mexican government's attempts to limit the totuaba fishing for this reason, even banning the use of gill nets in 2015 for two years and setting up wildlife refuges. Unfortunately, the porpoise has not yet started showing signs of recovery and is still in ever-present danger due to the illegal fishing industry, which the law has failed to stop. Number 7. Iberian Lynx Native to the Iberian Peninsula of Southwest Europe, the Iberian lynx is the most endangered of all feline species. These cats once roamed the Mediterranean forests of Spain and Portugal, but thanks to poaching, habitat destruction, and reductions in the population of rabbits that serve as their main food source, these majestic creatures have fallen sharply in number. They are easily recognizable in the area if you are lucky enough to see one, as they are heavily spotted, with long legs and a short tail with a black tip. Iberian lynxes have a tawny coat and a beard around their faces, as well as black tufts on their ears. In 2002, it was estimated that there were 100 Iberian lynxes left in the wild at most, and conservationists took drastic action to try sparing them from extinction. In an unexpectedly fortunate turn for the species, those efforts have proven worthwhile. The cats are bred in captivity and released in the wild, with the recent population counts indicating that there are now over 300 throughout their range. Despite these successes, the Iberian lynx remains at the precipice of extinction, and conservation efforts must continue if they are to survive the next decade. Number 6. Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat Wombats are the largest known burrowing herbivorous mammals and all three species are facing survival challenges as a result of human activity. The most at-risk species is the northern hairy-nosed wombat, one of the world's rarest mammals. Much larger than you would probably expect, unless you're already familiar with them, wombats have a stocky build, short tail, and powerful legs with strong claws that are ideal for digging. With a large head and pointy eyes, the hairy-nosed wombat gets its name from the clumps of whiskers that protrude from the sides of its nostrils. This unusual creature was once found across a wide range of Australia as recently as 100 years ago, from New South Wales to Queensland. Today, though, their numbers are severely declining and are limited to a small part of the Epping Forest National Park in Queensland, where approximately 230 specimens are believed to live. There are numerous reasons why the northern hairy-nosed wombat is struggling to survive, including its already small population numbers to begin with, the risk of flooding, droughts, and wildfire, which have become more frequent in recent years, reduced habitat resulting from deforestation, and the competition for food with the eastern gray kangaroo. There are so many amazing animals that have gone extinct or are on the edge of extinction. If you could bring back just one species of these animals, which would it be? Let me know down in the comments below. Number 5. Dama Gazelle The Dama Gazelle is the largest of all gazelle species and once it existed in vast numbers across the arid and semi-arid regions of the Sahara, mainly in Chad and Sudan. They are about 3 feet tall at their shoulders and have a reddish-brown body and a white head, rump and underside. Both males and females have curved horns. In the past century, the Dama gazelle's population numbers have deteriorated as a result of numerous wars in the region, an enlarging desert, 
overhunting, the destruction of their habitats, and increased human activity in livestock production. Consequently, the once common sight of gazelles in the area is now a rarity. Very little is known about the life cycles of these creatures in the wild, which complicates conservation efforts. Most of what we know of them comes from observing captive specimens which, if the current decline continues, will sadly be the only place where future generations can witness these animals firsthand. Number 4. Chinese Alligator Also called the Yangshi Alligator, the Chinese Alligator is one of the only two known alligator species in the world. It's a lot smaller than its counterpart, the American Alligator, with a more robust head and a snout that tapers up and turns up at the end. The Chinese alligator's blunt teeth are ideal for crushing the shelled animals it feeds on, like clams and snails. An adult can grow up to six and a half feet long, but unlike American alligators, they never attack humans. Books dating back to over 2,000 years ago refer to these creatures as harmless. Chinese alligators are thought to have once been prevalent along the entire Yangshi River and is the possible inspiration for the Chinese dragon, as the Chinese call them Yao Lung, which means dragon. Unlike the American alligator, this species is majorly threatened with extinction, mainly due to habitat loss. What were once swamplands and marshes are now paddy fields, and a large number of Chinese alligators have been killed by farmers protecting their livestock as well as the seepage of agricultural chemicals into their nearby water sources. There are now only thought to be around 130 remaining specimens in the wild, all of which are contained to small areas around the low bend of the Yangshi River. Attempts are underway to preserve the species, but as long as humans continue altering and stealing their environment, the recovery will be slow and difficult at best. Number 3. The Pied Tamarind the pied or bare-faced tamarind is native to the Amazon basin and inhabits rainforests, swampy regions, and even urban environments. They are identifiable by their black thick fur, which is white on their upper body and forelimbs and brown on their lower half and rear limbs, as well as the complete lack of fur on their black heads. Pied tamarinds are also different from other New World monkeys due to their small size and modified claws. They were once found all over the region, but are now limited to small areas of degraded forests and housing estates near the Brazilian cities of Manaus. Designated as critically endangered, they are threatened by deforestation, urban growth, increased cattle ranching, and competition against the larger golden haired tamarind for habitat. Number 2. The Seaula With a name meaning spindle horns in Vietnamese, the Sayala is often affectionately called the Asian Unicorn due to its unique appearance and rarity. Sayalas were first identified in Vietnam in 1992 when a skull with unusually straight horns was seen in the home of a hunter, leading to the first discovery of a new mammal in over 50 years. Since then, scientists have documented Sayala in the wild just four times, and they know little about the obscure creature. Sayaula are one of the world's most endangered large animal species, being found only in the Annamite Mountains in Laos and Vietnam. Their striking features, including long, virtually straight horns and distinct white head markings, have made them a prized trophy for hunters. This is the largest contributor to their critically endangered status and as a result of commercial poaching rather than subsistence hunting by local communities. If the Sayala continues falling victim to hunters, the outlook for its future is bound to become more grim. Inadequate conservation efforts until recent times, along with the natural effects of being a small population, have also impacted the Sayala's dwindling population. Number 1. The Pangolin Pangolins are the world's only mammal that are covered in scales, and their tongues can be longer than their bodies. There are eight distinct species across Asia and Africa, and sadly, every single one is at imminent risk of extinction due to the creature's status as the world's most heavily trafficked animal. Experts admittedly know little about pangolins, whose lifespans are thought to last around 20 years. When in danger, they curl up into balls that make it difficult for even lions and tigers to pierce through, thanks to the pangolin's tough scales which act as a protective shell. 
they also emit a noxious smelling acid similar to skunks to deter predators. Humans are the biggest threat to pangolins, however, who are captured and sold to the Chinese and Vietnamese wildlife trades for their valuable meat and scales. Some estimates suggest as many as 200,000 pangolins are traded each year, causing their numbers to rapidly drop, almost to the point of wiping them from existence. Efforts are underway to preserve pangolins, but unless humans change their ways, this truly unique mammal's time on Earth will soon be up. To learn more about what you can do to help, check out endangered.org. You can make the difference. Number 10. Daddy Long Legs If you live in North America, you are undoubtedly familiar with the Daddy Long Legs spider. This is probably the most harmless spider around, although they are absolutely terrifying with their long legs and gangly bodies. And while I call this a spider, it is actually closer to a scorpion. The daddy long legs does not produce silk. It has only one pair of eyes rather than eight, and it is only known as daddy long legs, as it has no other name to go by. This is obviously not the scariest creature on earth. But there's an immediate fright when you find a daddy long legs crawling up your leg or way too close to you on the wall. The good news is, these arachnids are not venomous at all. In fact, they are oddly social, having been discovered to often hang out in big groups with other daddy long legs. They are also extremely old. This species of arachnid has been discovered in fossils that are dated to be over 400 million years old. And while the daddy long legs has a surprisingly long lifespan of about two years, they usually get stepped on first. Next time you see one of these crawling along, don't fret, it can't hurt you. Number 9. Giant African Millipede Let me introduce you to one of the largest millipedes in the entire world. The giant African millipede grows to about 15 inches long and 3 inches thick, and it actually looks more like a snake than an insect. Anyone who has spent any time in the jungle is well aware of how dangerous centipedes and other creepy crawlies can be, as there are even species of caterpillar that can deliver massive loads of toxins to a human. And so it is natural to be terrified of a giant millipede, especially if you found it crawling over your shoe or running up your leg. But these are actually harmless animals. Although some may secrete a toxic substance if they feel threatened, it hasn't been proven that this substance has serious reaction to humans. It can only cause a small allergy to some unfortunate ones. Unlike centipedes, they can't bite or sting, and when they feel in danger, they are likely to curl up as to not become anyone's food. Centipedes, on the other, will take a huge bite and leave you writhing so you know, so stay away from those. Have you ever come across a huge insect like this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Vultures Vultures are not necessarily scary creatures, but they are definitely imposing and more than a little threatening. There is nothing more ominous than seeing circling vultures overhead when out in the desert. These birds have enormously sharp claws that can carve meat from bone and beaks that can easily rip bone apart. If a vulture wanted, it could certainly swoop out of the sky and do some serious damage to you. Luckily, these winged scavengers are completely harmless. The thing is, Vultures are scavengers, and they only eat dead animals. While they have been known to attack live prey in dire situations, it is extremely rare. Vultures prefer waiting for someone else to kill an animal so they can swoop in and steal the scraps. Vultures don't even bother trying to kill small desert critters, and they have absolutely no desire of fighting a grown human. However, if you were to fall victim to heat sickness while in the desert and pass out, you bet the vultures would be coming down to give you a taste. Number 7 bears. Bears may look tough on the outside, and sure, they are pretty ferocious in a fight, but bears are not generally a threat to humans. They are certainly not harmless as there are many examples of bear attacks, but they don't go out of their way to harm you. In fact, according to a report by the National Park Service, your chance of being assaulted by a grizzly bear in Yellowstone National Park is 1 in 2.7 million visits, meaning you would need to visit the park probably around 3 million times before a random encounter would occur in an injury. Bears don't like people, and anyone who lives in the countryside in North America is pretty aware of this. While they will definitely protect their young, everyone knows not to go near a grizzly bear mama when she's with her cubs. The average bear is not dangerous at all, 
In fact, the bear is in more danger than you. Even if you had an altercation with a bear, you are very unlikely to die. The truth is that bears usually end up dying when they meet humans. In a study that looked at 600 encounters between bears and humans, the bears ended up dying approximately 34% of the time. Overall, human beings are far more harmful to bears than they are to us. And now for number 8. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. Number 6. Coral Snake This is a tricky one. The coral snake does have the second most toxic venom out of any snake, with the black mamba taking rank as number one. However, the coral snake is actually pretty harmless. They are about as harmless to humans as an ordinary milk snake, which happen to look exactly the same as the coral snake, other than a slight reorganization of the red, yellow, and black bands. There are a few reasons for coral snakes being harmless. First of all, their venom is super slow when it enters humans and it can take many hours for the first symptoms to even show up. By that time, anyone with any sense has already gotten their hands on an anti-venom and is on their way to recovery. Besides that, coral snakes have really small teeth, and their teeth actually hang outside of their mouth at all times because they have no way to retract them. Their teeth are too small to puncture boots and even have a hard time puncturing human flesh. And even when they do, they can't deliver that much toxin. When it comes down to raw numbers, Coral snakes have not killed a single human since the 1960s. There have been more human deaths by vending machines than coral snakes in the last 50 odd years. Number 5. Black Widow Spider Black widows have been portrayed in the media as one of the most terrifying spiders in the world. There are countless references to black widows all throughout popular culture. But the truth is that black widow spiders are actually pretty harmless. They may appear terrifying with their black bodies and their red, hourglass shape on their butts. And yes, they are poisonous, but they are actually not dangerous for humans. There was one study back in 2014 in which a team tried to discover how agitated a black widow needed to be in order to bite a person. No matter how hard they heckled the spider, it simply would not bite. It is now acknowledged that the only way a black widow will ever bite a person is if it is extremely agitated or feels like it is in danger. This involves picking the spider up by its legs or trying to pinch it. Only then will it actually try to bite you. But even when the black widow spider bites, it is very rarely fatal. The black widow spider is about as dangerous as a bumblebee. According to life science, in 2013, there were 1,866 black widow bites reported. None of them resulted in fatality. Have you ever met a black widow? Tell me about your experience in the comments below. Number 4. Giant Whip Scorpion To stumble upon a scorpion is an extremely alarming experience. The only thing more terrifying than a giant spider is a giant scorpion. Your first instinct would be to scream and run away, especially from the terrifying looking giant whip scorpion, which live primarily in the United States and Mexico. However, as frightening as the scorpion may appear, it is completely harmless. This scorpion does not have a stinger filled with venom, nor does it have a poisonous bite. The only thing the giant whip scorpion can do is pinch your toes if you get too close. Which it might hurt, but it definitely won't kill you. There are certainly many scorpions out there that can send you screaming in pain to the hospital, but the giant whip scorpion is not one of them. It is still a pretty large creature, measuring up to about 5 centimeters in length. However, they kill their prey by crushing them with their pincers, and unless you are small enough to be pinched and eaten by this tiny creature, you are going to be completely safe. A giant whip scorpion is more of a house pest than an actual danger. Number 3. Vampire Bats People are terrified of bats, and let's be honest, there is nothing more unnerving than walking into a dark cave only to hear the screeching of a thousand bats overhead. Finding a vampire bat flapping around in your house bothering you in the park or screeching at you from the sky is utterly horrific. But the truth is that vampire bats are not actually dangerous. You can shriek and panic all you want, but a vampire bat is not going to hurt you. In fact, the worst thing a vampire bat can do to you is maybe flap its wings around your head and give you a heart attack. Why people are so terrified of bats is a bit of a mystery, but it probably has something to do with why people are so instinctively terrified of rats. You see, even though bats basically never bite humans, 
they have been known to carry rabies. Though this is not a fatal disease any longer in the civilized world, even if it were, the Bat Conservation Organization explained that only about 6% of bats have rabies. And it could very well be that humans are aware of their infectious nature and are instinctively afraid of them. But you should know the only thing that vampire bats have any interest in biting is livestock. And even then, vampire bats don't kill livestock. They simply suck their blood and then move on into the night. Number 2. Gharial Alligators and crocodiles are not something people generally want to have swim with. Crocodiles are mean-tempered and they have some of the strongest jaws in the world. If you were to get stuck in a crocodile's mouth, you are basically gone. And while gharials are members of the crocodile family, and while they certainly look just like mean crocodiles, they are the most harmless of all the croc species. Yes, they are big, up to 15 feet long and 2,000 pounds according to National Geographic, but they are also harmless. Gharials live in the river systems of Nepal and India, and they are totally unable to attack humans. Even if one of these river monsters wanted to take a bite out of you, it really couldn't. It has an elongated snout that looks a little cartoonish, 110 extremely sharp teeth, but it is unable to attack large animals. Their jaws simply can't manage it. For such a large animal, it is a bit surprising that all the gharial eats is fish, frogs, and even insects. Also. Unlike other crocodile species, gharials don't launch themselves at their prey. They only wait to detect the vibrations in the water to eat some fish nearby. The most they will move is their head from side to side. Imagine a 2,000 pound crocodile eating nothing but insects. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Number 1. Basking Sharks Basking sharks are one of the scariest sharks to see in the ocean. They open up their mouths larger than almost any other shark and they just look horrifying when they do it, like they could swallow you whole with one bite. In fact, the basking shark is the second largest living fish in the world. They can grow to be 26 feet long, but their diet consists only of different planktons. It uses its giant mouth for sucking in plankton and not for eating humans. The teeth of the basking shark are quite small, about 5 millimeters and a hook shape so we deduce that only the three rows of the upper jaw and the seven rows of the lower jaw are really functional. It is not a prey shark. It feeds only on plankton, so it doesn't need more powerful teeth like other shark species. The shark is actually completely harmless and will never hurt you. It's not even aggressive, but it sure does look like a monster of the deep. Thanks for watching. Which of these animals are you scared of even though you know it's harmless? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next awesome video. See you next time.